Hey guys, Mike here, Grinding Gears Garage. We have an 85 or 86 LT 250R motor sitting on the bench today. We are going to be doing a leak down test on it, just a real quick video. We're using the same tester we used for our 87 to 92 motor. Uh, we actually have, we acquired another quad racer, it's all the way in the back there. Uh, we're gonna be doing a full engine in that, a few other things. Uh, but we got this engine uh, just to pretty much flip. We got it for dirt cheap. I uh, want to do a leak down test on it for you guys so you can see. Uh, for ours, for the 85 head, we're going to take this off and show you guys. But there is a weird uh, exhaust port. It's not round. It's oblong. So we weren't able to use our normal uh, freeze plugs. So we made up this plate, put a little RTV on the head itself, bolted it down to get a nice seal. So we're going to hook up our air hose here. And we're going to pressurize. If you guys can hear. So, valve seal, or not valve seals, crank seals. Sounds like it's really only coming let me grab our soapy water. Since I closed that off, you can kind of hear it coming from... Look at that, it popped out. So our crank seal on the inside, on the clutch side, is bad. So, that means we're going to have to take apart that side. We're going to take off this as well. Since we, whoop, since we have... Uh, the stator was kind of cut. Somebody... Uh, snip the wires off right there. So we're gonna buy a new stator. So it's a complete engine, pull the flywheel, do that crank seal. A few other things while we're here, we got these seals to do. So just a small rebuild, we're not doing a complete, uh, only partial. So we're gonna, hopefully, I think we have our gaskets in. I have to double check if they came or not. But that's how to do a leak down test on the 85, 86. As you can see, there's no reed cage. The reeds are actually internal to the head. You have to take the, or the jug, you have to take the whole jug off, flip it upside down to get to your reed cage. So that's pretty much it. We used the same leak down tester we made uh, in an earlier video. We'll put in the description below. And then we made up just this little plate out of metal, little RTV. We took our studs out because they were actually uh, mangled. We're going to order new studs. We just use bolts. You can use your existing studs with your nuts from your flange. So that's pretty much it. It's had a leak down test, uh, early LT250R engine. 